it has been 16 years till I have lived. Total of 1, 4, 0, 1, 6, 0 hours to fulfill every dream of little Kushi. Hello, this is me, Kushi Gupta, and I am here with a small bottle of advice for you. So, from the beginning, I have always been very shy and introverted and didn't have any plans to be an author, writer, poet, or even handle social media for that fact. But right now, my whole world is topsy-turvy. The pre-planned lifestyle of a 16-year-old includes Netflix and chill, but I was a little different. I wanted to create change, I wanted to present my opinions on some topics related to body shaming, gender inequality, racism, etc. I wanted to help others to pursue their dreams and help them to reach a greater success. As teenagers, we read so many things in our books which are almost perfect, but reality always hits different. After going through a pandemic, when I researched, I found out that 27.6% depression disorder cases have been increased and my heart skipped a beat. I knew I had to do something. I wanted to tell the world how important it is to talk about mental health and open up about it. And it all began with the writing. For me, creative writing was just like writing 10 to 15 sentences to get that 5 out of 5 for that English examination. But the older I grew, I realized it's much more than that. It's, talk, it's about talking about vocal issues, opening up, writing about the things that are hurting inside and being grateful. As for me, I thought that if I can heal myself from the saddest version of me to the one who understood from her every mistake, Anybody can do anything and I wanted to help someone when they are going from that bad phase in their life. I started falling in love with the things that I didn't even like before. And trust me, there was another life-changing incident that changed all of my perception towards life. I was never a bookworm and trust me, I never, never read books. But one day there was a random urge in my heart to go, out, go down to a bookstore and buy a book. And I laid my hand on a book by Mark Manson. From a girl who never read book, never read even a single page, to messaging my friend, I have read almost 115 pages of the book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up. A person like me would never purchase this book. But the older I grew, I realized I need to stop thinking about so many things and stop making the most simple things seem complicated and start adding positivity in my mind rather than negativity and pulling myself down. From having no creativity at all to saying that I published my first book, that was a roller coaster and a life-changing journey for me. I chose Wings to Your Dreams as my book title and trust me, I never knew that at night around 2 a.m. you can literally decide a book title even while studying. I know it sounds hilarious, but I realize it's true. With every opportunity I took, I realized some, per uh, some people didn't like me for what I was doing. People constantly said to me that you were too young for us in the interviews for internships and research opportunities. People didn't like that I was of such young age and doing so many things and that kind of affected me. Like I know I wasn't supposed to listen to people's opinions and do what I wanted to do but I did have some impact from that six liner sentence and that impact was huge. I stopped doing the things I loved because I thought I'm too young for it. But when I took one day break from doing all the things I loved and I paused. I realized I'm, I have stopped doing all the things I loved just because someone doesn't validate my opinion. I went back to doing all the things I loved because I knew I made the worst decision of all. The title brings to your dreams suggests that you have your own title and it's completely okay. You can do anything you want to. Being vulnerable at 14 and reflecting maturity at yourself at just the age of 15 is completely okay. You have your own timeline and you do not need to stick up to someone's expectations. This book was my way of saying that it's okay. Just do what you want to do and don't let someone's opinions stop you. 
writing every page of my book and then holding it in my hands oh my god that was a mesmerizing and breathtaking moment i loved every part of it this book opened me to the world of possibilities it was life changing moment to write every part of it and then to hold it in my hands it didn't happen in one night it didn't happen in one day it didn't happen in one week instead it took me around 6 months to draft the first manuscript of my book and the main reason was why because i knew absolutely nothing i didn't knew how to write it i didn't knew which order you're supposed to put your poems in i didn't know which font which style what um what should be the spacing what should be the line gap i had absolutely zero knowledge but i didn't let that stop me i researched for days finding out how to do uh, how to publish a book uh, finding out ebooks free ebooks for using google and just researching so much but apparently that wasn't enough the book is filled with thousands of mistakes suppose I forgot to add titles on some poems because I felt it wouldn't justify. I forgot to correct my grammar. I forgot to put capital words in in the starting of the sentence. But after I got the book, I consoled myself that it's okay. I'm just a beginner and I'm going to make mistakes. After publishing Mystery Dreams, I thought that that was it. Like, okay, this is me just being an author for one book and that's it. But no, apparently. This was little Kushi whispering to me that Kushi, get out your diary, get out your notebook, get out your pen, and we are writing another book. Don't let anybody stop you. Start writing about the things you think that matter the most. I wanted to share my learning and my perspective of life and what incidents I went through. Yeah, like I know I'm fifteen, but. I did went through some pretty ugly incidents which worked out for the best and I wanted to be vocal about it and tell someone so that so if someone has the same situation they can face it with more courage. The book might have what uh, what about the change in color of sky or growing apart with the people you loved. And remember if you are at my age and are thinking about publishing a book but you are stopping yourself because you think you are too young or you are too old or you know nothing about it you need to research you need to spend time stop right there you need to do hard work and don't let anyone's opinion stop you from doing what you want to do it's your life it's literally your life and you just got one so take it under control and do everything that you have on your bucket list don't let people decide your words your actions and mostly your life coming to an end i just want to say that there are going to be so many life incidents that you are going to go through they are going to break you down or they are going to make you the happiest version of you but every incident will make you fall in love with the process take it from the 16 year old me there is absolutely no substitute of hard work if your heart loves the things you do you have every capability in the world to change it to make a change in this society you can't have things for yourself if you don't work hard enough if you are not willing to put an effort you're not going to get the result you have a wonderful ability to fly and just roam around and do amazing things but we need to stop chopping our wings so that someone else can feel happy you have the right to feel happy and we need to fly our wings higher and wider because that's what we meant to do we meant to do amazing things in our life and just to remember don't stop because you have 100 excuses in your life to not do that thing but only find one excuse that sticks with you for the rest of your life and makes you work for it even harder this was my advice for you and thank you so much that's all